This is Michelle Long, and I'm a CPA and an Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. I'm the owner of Long for Success, and I'm glad you're joining me today for this QuickBooks tip. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to edit a payment that's already been deposited. What happens is, let's say you've received a payment and you realize you posted it to the wrong customer account, so you need to make a change. So you go in and you click on Receive Payments, and I'm going to go Previous up here. And so let's say that I have this on another test customer, but I really meant to post it to a test. So I need to change who it's to. But what happens is when I go ahead and click Save and Close, it says I've already deposited it, so I can't make that change. So how do I fix this? I'm going to show you how. I'm going to go ahead and say no right here. And we want to go find the deposit that this is attached to. So up at the top, if you're using QuickBooks 2012 or older, it's going to look a little bit different. But at the top, you'll find something that says History. Up in here, click on the History button. That will show you other transactions that are linked to this. So here's the invoice that this payment uh, was applied to, but here's the deposit. We need to edit it and get it off of that deposit before we can make changes to this payment. So I'm going to double click to go to the deposit. Now, especially if you've already cleared this deposit, you've already reconciled your bank account, we don't want to mess up the total on this deposit. So what I suggest you do is that you create an account, uh, I'm going to post it to miscellaneous, and because it's another test is the one that we want to, to change and get off of here so we can edit it, we need to put another a line down there so our deposit total isn't going to change. The one that we need to fix, another test, I'm going to actually want to come up here and click on edit and delete that line. So I insert a line to some account like miscellaneous because this is just temporary for the same amount as the payment that we need to fix so that our deposit total doesn't change. So we want the deposit to stay the same so it stays cleared and reconciled. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and close. It says you've changed this. Is that okay? I'm going to say yes. Then I'm going to come over here. Now my payment is not on a deposit anymore because remember we deleted the line. Now I can change it to the right customer. I can click Save and Close. It says it's applied to an invoice and that's okay. Now what I need to do is go back to that deposit. So I'm going to click Previous. Okay, I don't want to pull anything in yet. I'm going to click Previous. Go back to this deposit. And again, remember we want our deposit total, the 4,339, to stay the same. Now I want to delete this line because that was just a temporary holder to keep the deposit total. So I want to delete the line. And now I need to pull in that payment from a test for $1,100 and put it back on this deposit. So what we did is we keep the deposit total the same all the time so that it stays cleared and reconciled and it doesn't mess up our bank reconciliation. So what you have to do is you put a temporary line on the deposit so it stays the same. Delete that payment off the deposit, go edit the payment as needed, then come back into that deposit, add it back on there, and then go ahead and save that again. And that's how you can edit a payment that's already been deposited without messing up the deposit and its, its reconciled status. I hope this has been helpful. Check out my website and other great resources at longforsuccess.com.